Welcome back to uh, the uh, Midwest Sports Show. My name is, how about that for a fade out? Yeah. Finally, it only took uh, 30 shows. Yeah, uh, that was perfect. My name is uh, Chris Stotts, oh. and uh, this is Gene Steichen. Yeah, we both, we, we went on a hike uh, together, and we got too much sun today, so a little sunburn, right? Yeah, well, if you uh, watch the uh, broadcast, mm. the uh, Facebook or the YouTube show, version of the show yeah uh just google uh midwest sports show you'll find it yeah on the top and, uh, and went out in the beach and i got sand in my hair so i don't know it seems uh, it's glistening so that's probably okay right well <clears throat> you will find a video of the show oh where can you or, find a or, video or, of the show or go to facebook oh my gosh and uh you should uh, be able to find it and watch the show oh that's and right. this week uh gene and i in our infinite wisdom yeah of uh production Oh, I won't do that. Well, Both wore really bright yellow shirts. See, I'm getting ready for uh, Iowa Hawkeyes football, so I wore a yellow shirt, but I'll have to watch that next time. Yeah, which uh, really does not mix well with a green screen. Okay. I mean, not a green screen, but uh, right. I mean, uh, our location. Our location, which yeah. I'm not quite familiar with. It looks <gasps> like we're at a space center. Well, Gene, that is, uh, you may think it's a space center, but that is a modern-day NFL training facility. Oh. And uh, we are in the uh, Minnesota uh, oh. training facility, which I thought was in Man- Mankato. It's, okay. And then I thought it was in, like, Eagle or Eden. Yeah. Or Egan. Egan. Right, right. Uh, Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, but apparently oh, it's, it's, it's just in the cities or something like that. Wow. It's from, uh I know, I know. Oh, I don't this know. is exciting. So that we're there, and we're, the reason why we're there is because uh, we're doing the, uh, the the Vikings suck. Yeah, uh, yeah. This week. Oh yeah, and and we're going right from the Vikings uh, suck to uh, my fantasy draft with my family. It'll be my second year in fantasy, so I'm I'm getting along pretty well. A little I, nervous? No, I I feel good about. It. I have a strategy. I do have a strategy. <clears throat> yeah. So, well, we, going back to the uh, the reason why it looks like we're super colored is, uh, well, not that sort of colored, but right. uh, very bright. I don't even is, think you can say that <laughs> anymore. Is uh, I had to uh, change the color setting so we don't match with the green screen. Oh, I see. And, yeah, Gene, is uh, he's got, a f- yeah, live uh, fantasy football yeah. tonight. Well, the, yeah. So uh, stick around for that show. Our, <laughs> uh, two th- you know how the Today I, Show is now like uh, yeah. five hours? Right. We're, we're starting a new thing with fantasy football. I mean, I cannot know less about fantasy football than anyone that played. This is only my second year ever doing it. Gene, is your is your draft a snake draft? I don't or, see uh, I know Bill Simmons, like, oh, snake draft is for losers. Like, what is really? snake Really? That's what he said. Isn't it more fair? What is Cause it? Because, it, well, okay, so basically, you know, you get pick number one. You know, in the real NFL draft? Yeah. Pick number one. Always picks first, right, of every okay. round. But okay. Snake goes through one through ten, oh, and then I ten, see. and then back, yeah. and then ten through one. Gotcha. So right. I, I think it's a little bit more fair, right? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what kind of draft ours is. It's I mean, a family draft, but he's so. in the super hardcore, uh, you know. Yeah. League well, I of heard uh, that LeBron's league. They were talking the the hundred thousand dollar entry geez, fee. Jesus. I think that's LeBron. Yeah, but Gene, I mean, look who you're playing against Dwayne Wade, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, our family now, last year we didn't win that. money. This year they're talking $10 a person. So that well, could oof, be. Oof. I think. Gene, that, that's like a mortgage payment in yeah, Iowa. To that, oh, my gosh. You can go a long way on that. I think you could get um, $80 to the winner. Gene, that's, that's, many, that's a lot of butter burgers at Culver's. Yeah. <laughs> Things are, LA is very expensive. I'm going to tell you that right now. But, oh, well, what are you going to do? Well, Gene, you go to these goddamn bars, you're like, uh, wow. I'm paying $12 for a beer. Where's the baseball game? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Baseball game, not yeah. included. Oh, they got on the wall. Okay, I right. feel like I'm right. at a goddamn yeah. baseball game. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Gene, a lot of show this week. A lot, yeah. a lot of NFL news, Gene. All right, all right. We're, we're getting oh, there. By the way, we're getting how much warmed would up. you pay to see the Rolling Stones? Because they're at the Rose Bowl this week, and I'm on the fence because tickets are still well over 300 Gene, if you're talking about... And they're not good seats. I mean, you're in a huge stadium sitting really far what, away. What, at the Rose Bowl, you said? Yeah, which is a huge stadium. I mean, Gene, if this was 1966, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's a, you can afford a time machine, but oh, uh, that's God. infinite money. I, don't, I should save my money and go to the opening night because the Packer-Bear game, uh, September 5th, those tickets, the cheapest ones, are still 400 
They well, got to drop. I, I'm... Well, Gene, once we uh, we're doing the Vikings this week, but once we do the Bears, yeah. the reason why the Bears suck, y- you may see that price drop pretty okay. quick. Pretty All quick. Right. Very good. So, uh, hey, listen, I, I don't want to say that we're trying to cook the books here, but so, uh, I think uh, we're yeah, a pretty good barometer. I, I'm 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 not. I am on the fence. I yeah, we saw him. Uh, I saw him with my sister. We saw him at the Hollywood Bowl, which is great. Cause wow, only, that must have been crazy. It, that was great, and it was only a few years ago. And how much were tickets then? I, not near like this. And there's only 18,000 seats. So every good. I mean, the Rose Bowl is 85,000 seats. So you're pretty far away. You know what's uh, really nice if you're a Rolling Stone? What? You know, they can say you that every they can say that every single time. I mean, uh, um, it, it could be the last time you can I see know, him, Gene. I know. It could yeah. be the last time. Yeah. Uh, bon Jovi, not so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. You'll have plenty of chances this to one, see Bon Jovi, really trust think me. This could be it. Who I mean, we'll see. Someone, <laughs> something's got to give with Keith Richards and uh, Mick Jagger. Hey, they, they All right. Mick yeah. Jagger is going to be having uh <laughs> beautiful daughters way uh into his 100s, Gene. He's got a daughter. Yeah. His daughter's mm-hmm. having hot ass daughters, right? No. no, not, uh, no I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. Well, I'm going to try to go to Rolling Stones and then uh, hopefully go to the Bears-Packers game. Hopefully <laughs> ticket prices Keith, will drop. Keith Richards or uh, Mitch Trubisky, hey, Gene? Hey, uh, StubHub, StubHub is my friend. So hopefully uh, thir- it's a Thursday night in Pasadena that ticket prices will drop. <laughs> I'm going to wait for panic to set in. Maybe I'll end up on the floor somewhere. You're, you're, you're going to hope that some uh, really rich people are like, fuck this traffic. Going well, to the Rose Bowl. Of, there's a couple. Yeah. Yeah. That's you know, what I'm Gene, Gene, you like the train. You know, you can take the train to the Rose Bowl. I know. You knew that? Yeah. It's a very mm-hmm. long walk, though, unless I, they improved I, I don't it. Mind. Yeah. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to worry about before then. But, yep. okay. Now you'll figure out. Oh, well, Gene. Cubs being one of them. Enough so. chit chat. Okay. And I'm talking about shit chat. Oh, chit. Who? Shit. Little shit chat. Oh, okay. Mo- move on to other shit hey. chat. This has been great for the. I don't know if the the National League Central is any good, but it's been pretty entertaining. Uh, yeah. Although it's really hard to watch the Cubs lose so much. Well, Gene, we can uh, start with that, where the big news for the week. <laughs> yeah. Was the week you. is uh, the Cubs? Cubs in a uh, well, I, I think they had a couple games lead going into the week since they our had last show. Back to back, they they had. Uh, they lost on the Grand Slam. I watched both games. They lost on the Grand Slam at Philadelphia in the bottom of the ninth. And then the next day, they lost in the bottom of the ninth to Pittsburgh, who are awful, and they're not even trying. Man, uh, yeah. I, after that, good. Th- oh, my gosh, these losses are so painful. Then then, then you're like, I can't do this again. Then you wake up the next day and go, okay, I'll give it it's another day. Ball. It's yeah. another day. Well, so, Gene, I mean, as a Brewer fan, I've been watching Josh Hader give up home runs in the bottom I know, of the I ninth. I heard about that. That sucks. What's going on with you? Uh, mm. Hey, you live you live by the fastball, die by the fastball, Well, right? I'm, I'm a little worried about Craig Kimbrell's back for the well, Cubs. But anyway, <laughs> well, he's Cubs- get, yeah, and he's getting mocked by uh, seven-year-olds. Oh, I, I know. That was pretty great. And uh, we'll be we'll go back to the Philly sweep here in a moment. But, yeah, yeah speaking of Kimbrell, what, they're, they're playing the Little League field? Yes. Where the yeah. outfield was like 200 yard <laughs> feet so. or something? Well, because because Rizzo hit the scoreboard. So. <laughs> Gee, that's going to devastate that local economy. I, I know. Unless it's one of those rich uh, suburbs of yeah. Chicago like Pal- Palpatine or Palatine. It was in, uh, uh, but yeah, so Kimbrell was up. And what he has, has he pitched a couple times for? Uh, uh, he's pitched for the he's been Cubs, on the, right? He's been on the injured list. Okay. <laughs> His ERA as a closer. Is over six, I believe. <laughs> he, it's been rough. Well, it's a good thing I mean, he's a starter, every, right? Everything they said about him in Boston, I'm witnessing firsthand. Walks, home runs. He's given up a bunch of home runs. Walks, home runs, hit by pitcher, hit hit, hit batters. Yeah, the full deal. Theo, Theo just wanted some of and that. And uh, forty million dollars. Theo just some wanted some of that uh, 2018 uh, championship stench from yeah. Krimble. Wow. Make sure it, his jersey still I'm smelled like you, uh, the clubhouse. Gonna, I, he's already really hard to watch. So he so. does this crazy raptor thing. It's not even a raptor where it's like I'm his dying. hands are out and yeah. goes right down. This guy's making, what, $20 million a year, and he's got seven-year-olds? Yeah. The Little right. League players were in the back. By the way, yeah. what, uh, you can't do that, right? That's like putting a laser in someone's eyeball, right? You can't, <laughs> you can't like do shit in front of like behind home plate. 
Yeah. Right? Isn't that a distraction? I guess not. Well, maybe. It Doesn't the usher of... tell them the like? Were there any ushers? Could I they afford think any? So. I think I think the kids just intermingled with the major leaguers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was a it was a good day though. It was great for the kids. Joe Madden did throw out the first pitch, and that <laughs> was one of the worst. Did you well, see? They, it? they couldn't get Shoeless Joe Jackson out there or oh, something my like gosh, that. What? That was rough. He 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 bounced it way past the catcher. It was, yeah. yeah. And Strope was like, nah, ain't so easy, huh, boss? Oh, Strope is terrible. Ain't so easy, huh, boss? Yeah. That's this exactly how be, I said it. If the, the Cubs, they, uh, wow, they're a roller coaster. What a roller coaster. So uh, at least they won. Hey, they they had lost their last, they were 0 10 and 2 on their series. So they finally won a series, although it was Pittsburgh who are just oh. terrible. Yeah. All right. Well, let's anyway. just uh, talk, let's talk about the Phillies for a moment. So, yeah, yeah they did get swept, but the Phillies are pretty good. They're okay. They're pretty they're not, good too. They wouldn't be in the playoffs right now. Oh yeah. They're they're behind the wild card. They will. That be, we'll Washington's going, right? better without Bryce Harper. Their their record Tough. is much. Isn't Washington that destroyed. Speaking of Washington, Washington destroyed the uh, Brewers this weekend. Yeah, I saw. It. Well, you won uh, that. Crazy we won one game. game. Crazy. But then they they uh, scored sixteen runs in one game. It was eight to sixteen, but that was just garbage time. But runs doesn't that the make end. it if you're the, the Nationals are much better without Bryce Harper and the Phillies? They're not even a playoff team, and they got <clears throat> they signed him for thirteen years. Ooh, <laughs> good luck with that. Well, Gene, you keep on uh, shitting on uh, Bryce Harper. Yeah, well, and, after uh, what he did to the cup. Well, let's go. Let's let's relive that moment. No, where it was. Uh, what they're only down by two runs, right? Bottom of the ninth, two strikes, yeah. two outs. Yeah, two bases, bases loaded, loaded. Two two outs. By the way, if this was an NBA game, oh, they would have God. paused the game and looked at a replay to see if the ball touched the uh, mound, the wow. glove, for two wow. minutes. But now baseball, there's no there's no getting around it. Right, you got to hit that ball. Yeah, or let you know, or wait for a walk, whatever. Mm. Uh, anyways, uh, Bryce Harper hits a grand slam, and I, I, I underscore grand. He crushed it. And another disturbing thing, a pitcher the Cubs picked up, Derek Harlan, their left-handed specialist, who's, who's supposed to be great against left-handers, he came in to face Bryce Harper. Wow. You couldn't have thrown batting practice any better. <laughs> that was yeah. that was a – oh, my God. That was God. a tomato, I think they call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, he, well, um, and by the way, speak, hey, listen, Gene, there's a lot of blame to go around, right? Didn't, right, didn't Madden uh, use like three pitchers or four yeah, pitchers that, that inning game, or something like that? That game got all messed hey, up. Hey, Madden, it ain't working, okay, buddy? <laughs> he's, you ain't Tony La Russa, okay? He's, he's under some heavy-duty <laughs> fire. So. What, I, uh, alcohol, you mean? I mean I Is that what you're saying? I don't know. He might be a lot of time in that RV. I'm sure somebody <laughs> will, will fire or hire him. Hey, if this RV's rocking, don't come a-knocking, Gene. He's, they could get... Oh, I hate it for it to be. He just opened his restaurant right <laughs> next to Wrigley Field. What's that going to be like? A man's place. And then he's not even there because he's coach. He's managing the White Sox, which is. Hey, you know, they're uh, specialty. Huh? Day old ham and cheese, Gene. <laughs> he's going to be. I, I think he's going to be at the White Sox next year. So look out. The White Sox. Oh, OK. Why All right. Not? There you go. You heard it. Here. I mean, I, I think so. Nah, the Mets. He'll be on the Mets, right? I don't know. Stick he it to the Yankees Chicago. again. He wants his revenge on the Yankees, mm. even though they don't play each other. But right. uh, winning a uh, – He's going to be somewhere, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll be uh, oh. on Highway 90 going west, that's, right? that's looking tough. for Smokey. Oh, my God. All right. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, – oh, yeah. Gene, you keep on uh, crapping on uh, Bryce Harper oh, talking about, oh, sorry. would you pay him $35 million a year? For 13 years? No. Well, Gene, I'll tell you what, Gene, that <laughs> – that walk off grand slam, yeah, that was worth thirty five million to me. All okay, right. that's because right. that's their playoff run right there. That's the <laughs> highlight because they're not going to the playoffs. So enjoy, enjoy. I, yeah, you enjoyed it now, Bryce. Oh my gosh, it was painful. His dog's name is Wrigley. He wanted to go to the Cubs, I believe. <laughs> what? Maybe he's a fu- uh, fan of Double McGum. Gene. I, I don't, don't know. Think Who knows? so. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, they're not gonna win a. He's not gonna win a World Series, so you don't have to worry about. I that. don't know, probably not. They're not very good. Unless, unless Theo goes to the Phillies, how about that? Theo and Madden Theo, go to the Phillies. Theo's under fire. Get rid of Gabe Kapler. Who would you rather have, Gabe Kapler or uh, or Kaplan? What's his, what's this guy's yeah, name? Gabe Kaplan. Yeah. I mean, Kaplan. former Brewer. Let's give it up for him. But like, uh, no way. I'll take Joe Madden. Oh, I love Joe Madden, but he's he's on the outs. He needs a fresh start. 
He's going to be at the White Sox. You, you, can, you can only say, tell the same stories over and over again before yeah, people start well, tuning you up. Yeah, he can tell them in his restaurant, <laughs> which is open next to Wrigley Field, which is going to be very awkward. Hey, how many times are you going to... Hey, Joe, let me buy you a drink. How many times are you going to hear that? Yeah. Guy with... <laughs> He'll make money just buying himself drinks or having other people buy yeah. him drinks. All right. And then really quick, we'll talk about the Brewers because I know everyone loves just how we only talk about the Brewers and the Cubs. But oh, St. Louis. I think they're well. a uh, – I think it's a symbol for the whole team. Right? Okay. I think it's an analogy for the whole, whole league. I mean, I'm mm. sorry, whole league. Right. All right. Yeah, Brewers are playing the uh, Cardinals right now, but I'm not watching because I didn't see the beginning of the game. I'll watch a replay later. Uh, but, yeah, they played a crazy game <clears throat> I at, at Nationals. That. Yeah, At, at the Saturday. National. Yeah. The, the, I don't know if it was like the weather, if it was the hot, humid weather in Washington or something like that, but the ball was flying yeah. out of the park on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, the game went uh, 14 innings. See, and, I, watched uh, it, I watched it 13th. The Brewers scored, but then the Nationals scored. Well, wow, that whole game was crazy. Back and forth. Just a whole bunch of multi-run home runs yeah. back and forth. And um, Eric Thames uh, actually hit the uh, game-winning Although they were top of the uh, whatever 14th or whatever, so they still had to finish the game. Uh, but Gene, the game was so long. The Gene, the game was so long that Jack White, how long? Oh yeah, rock star Jack White yes. left the game. Right, caught the beginning of the game, left to, to do a show, finished the show. By the way, they, they never report if he did an encore. <laughs> Is he ripping off his fans? No encore, Jack? I, I don't know. Yeah. Nothing from right, uh, right. the White Stripes, Jack? Yeah. All your new shit? Huh? Is he with that? Are the White? I don't know. Much no, they're they're that. they're broken up, right? Okay. So it's just him. I mean, it was his cousin, though, wasn't it? Oh, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. That's more Jack White than I know. Right. I know people like him. I liked his uh, the White Stripes stuff. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but yeah, then he came back and watched the end of the game. Hmm. That's a good sport, Gene, right there, it right? It sure is. <laughs> and it also sh- shows you uh, maybe the games are too long and you got to do this 162 times a year. No thanks. Come well, on. they don't play 14 innings. But, Gene, I would say um, let's, uh, after 12 innings on the 13th inning, let's put right. a guy in second base. I- I'm, I'm with that uh, idea. Yeah, absolutely. Give him let's three innings, right, go through right. the batting order. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. And then let's, here. let's, you know, it's one goddamn game. Right. You know, who right. cares? Yeah. Or just give it a tie, huh? Yeah, How about there that? you go. All right, Gene, that's, uh, that's the baseball news. So, yeah. I mean, I so guess it's going to be exciting. No, I, because everyone plays the Brewers, Cubs, Cardinals. They all play each other a bunch. I mean, and I guess there's other teams oh, that play baseball, but Cleveland I mean, I don't is care. Very good. So, there you go. They're in the Midwest somehow. And the Twins are great. But that's a great race, too, Twins, uh, Cleveland. They beat so the Brewers, I think, both times. Can't. Yeah. I'm not going to go back to my um, app. All right, well, Gene, we're going to move over to uh, the NFL, the National Football League. Uh, two weeks from Thursday, NFL kicks off in Chicago. That is kind of that is kind of nuts, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, Gene, we're gonna <clears throat> talk about football, and we're gonna talk about the Bears, Packers, Andrew Luck, the Lions, and we're gonna go over why the Vikings suck, as always. Mm. But we're gonna start with the Bears, the Chicago Bears. Hey, all's good. They kind of settled on a kicker, kind of. Who was the Who was the genius that came up with the Chicago Bears? I mean. Uh, we got the Chicago Cubs. How about we yeah. be the Bears? Well, George Hallis, probably they must have did it in tandem because the Bears and the Cubs. They had well, the Cubs were way way earlier than the Bears, well, right? We, By yeah, probably the, fifteen the, years. The Cubs are earlier, and then yeah, the Bears probably start. The Bears have been around a hundred years, so yeah, not much. Yeah, not not yeah. very. Uh, he's he's good on the uh, the sweep, but not the uh, naming of the teams, right? Yeah, right, right. All right. Uh, anyone ever point that out? Not really creative. You got the Cubs and the Bears. I mean, how about we do a Pretty different cool. goddamn animal? Huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, we got some Bears news. Mm. Quite a practice for Bears running back Kyle Long tonight. Oh, my gosh. Uh, got into a scrape with rookie uh, defensive end uh, Jalen Dalton. Gene, what's the uh, – what's the – what's the <laughs> – <laughs> What's the I, scouting I, report on uh, Jalen Dalton, Gene? Uh, he won't be on the team much longer. <laughs> you can't, even though Kyle Long was the one that was bashing him with yeah, his nice, own helmet. Nice. Well, hey, welcome to the NFL, Rook. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Uh, Where a pro is right, going to beat the shit right, out of a uh, rookie. Right, there you yeah, go. Nice. A yeah, defensive rookie. Yeah. Took Dalton's helmet and started hitting him with it. Not good. Hitting uh, him with it and then Kyle. chucked it down the field. Was pulled from practice. Yeah. 
Oh, and then uh, Long barfed a couple times on the sidelines. So uh, yeah. was he having a crazy acid trip? Yeah. Was he on uh, metaphetamines, Gene? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I know. I'm not sure what he's up to. What's what? What is that? Well, what's the symptoms there? Were you like, go, are you active? Uh, I'm sorry, act super aggressive and then yeah, puke. Yeah, you stay up. Is it PCP? Yeah. Okay, maybe he's doing. That. Was he drinking? Uh, probably. probably. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want. To, well, I don't know. Sir, was he drinking during the practice? That's probably. the question. Yeah. Long. That's not it, Gene. Uh oh. Long seems to be having a rough go at Alvit lately. Mm. He also got into a fight with Akeem Hicks on Sunday. Akeem Hicks is still in the league? Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. He, well, he used to be on the uh, Giants, right? Didn't he win the Super Bowl with Eli on the Giants? Uh, mm, yeah. I think that's correct. I, okay, if you say so. I'll go with you on that one. Gene, you're about to have your fantasy football right. draft. You don't yeah, know this? Yeah, uh, I know. Okay, I'm going to draft Akeem Nick. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Cheryl. Gene, Gene, this ain't uh, 2012. Right. Said, Hi, Cheryl. All right. Also, he also got into a fight with Akeem Nixon Sunday, and head coach Matt Nagy oh, my God. didn't seem too thrilled with the helmet bashing not nature helped. of his latest fight. It's not a good teammate. Again, mean. it's all that kind of stuff where we're more mature than that, he told reporters. I know that I personally expect more from us. Well, but can he kick, Matt? Can he kick a oh field goal? Gosh. Maybe that's why he uh, gets, you this know. This is such a tough deal with it so uh, did oh are it's kickers next this was what a departure from what Nagy said Nate Nagy had to say after the fight on Sunday when he assured reporters that Bears could handle such scruffs because we don't have turds on this team mm. no turds on this team Gene not in the Bears mm. Kyle Long huh yeah acting like a turd yeah former pro bowler how he ain't gonna like this, Gene? He ain't <laughs> gonna the like this. That because I think the other long, Chris Long, he retired. So Kyle's the last of the. They both won Super Bowls, right? Or has no, Kyle, Kyle that one. No, Kyle's been with the Bears the whole time. Mm. So no, nope. but he's been he's been really good. But he's been hurt for a couple. Maybe years he's got so. a issue. I'll talk to him when I go to Chicago <laughs> in a couple of weeks and see what's up. I'll Gene, he's sure gonna he's, bash you with his helmet. I'm gonna I'm gonna calm him down before the opening night against the Packers. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. For the game, yeah. All right, give him the full uh, Robert Kraft, if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. All right, so the bear, we got more Bears news, Gene. Yeah, the Bears have drawn the most wagers to win the Super Bowl in Las Vegas sports books. So more, the most people have bet on that, the Bears. That, that's the way it was with the Cubs all those years when they were terrible. People just bet them because they're long shots and they love the Cubs. It, and then finally they paid off, but they were good that year anyway. But it's because yeah, it's, that's it, just people betting with their heart. It's been kind of overwhelming the support for the Bears. Caesars Sportsbook senior odds maker Alan Berg told ESPN.com every time the Bears go to the playoffs the following year, the money just pours in. Everyone gets optimistic. Well, we'll see about Mitch. He's got it. Well, the Bears have I, nine and one odd, nine and one odds to win the Super Bowl at Caesars Sportsbook, right. fourth highest in the league. Nine to one. I think that's. Uh, that's, that's really way high. Yeah. Especially, I, I, because, I, especially because Mitch is such a question mark. And you got a bunch of idiots betting nine to one. I mean, yeah. I, I'd say he should be like 15 to one or something yeah. like that. Right. I mean, yeah. you know, they, they could win. Yeah. Why not? But uh, I mean, they're if not. Trubisky's they won't. Good, but if the, he's not. And he's oh, not there's gonna, defenses that will chew Trubisky apart. He's not going to be. Once play, you're in the no, playoffs. No, no uh, preseason for him either. Yep. Well, uh, speaking of no preseason, the Aaron Rodgers. Well, he's actually, not going to play in the preseason. Well, he actually said that they, he actually might play this uh, Thursday. So Trubisky's not going to play at all. They break they, news. Now they got. Now the NFL's got to do something because the starters for most teams aren't even really playing. Maybe one series, yeah. but that's yeah. It's for all these extra players, just you know, they're just it's just basically giving these extra players like yeah. a couple paychecks. Yeah, right? fine. All right. By the way, hey, we're going to go back to some Bears news. Well, I guess this is Bears, Packers, Bengals news, but uh, sad news. Out of Texas, oh, Austin, Texas. Yeah, that guy. Former Bears, Bengals, and Packers running back Cedric Benson died on uh, Saturday night in a motorcycle crash in Austin, Texas. According to multiple reports, he was 36. Mm. God, that's young. That's so, very young. So, uh, yeah, he was drafted by the Bears and was part of that Super Bowl team that faced uh, yeah. Manning. He had, like, four good – but he, I think his best years were in Cincinnati. Yeah, and then he, he went to the uh, – yeah, and then I remember most of uh, Cincinnati, I yeah, guess. Yeah, because that's when he – I don't think he was that great on the Bears, but then he was really yeah. good with well, the all Bengals. The Bears have the worst luck in uh, drafting running backs uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, I guess, for, except for Gail Sayers. And Walter. Yeah. Okay, well <laughs> – 
Okay, t- two in 60 <laughs> years. All right, that's bad luck. Two All right, years. so, uh, yeah, and uh, he was briefly with the Packers. I think he had a couple – it's one of those things where, like, he has a great run and he runs for, like, 10 yards. And you're like, holy shit, maybe uh, we got a running back. And then yeah. he goes, like, half a yard for the next, like, five times. You're like, oh, yeah, no, just mm-hmm. throw the ball there. So, man, that's a crazy motorcycle accident. Do not um, motorcycles are just they're, they're death traps. They are so scary. And you on are, the, the LA freeways, man, they zip in between cars yeah. on the freeways. It's so scary. You are if you're have a motorcycle, you're gonna get hit. All right. Yeah, or you're gonna have a crash or it's whatever. It's just hard to see them because they're zipping in and out of oh, it's dangerous. That's why you gotta have a loud ass motorcycle that goes it's, super loud. It's, it's yeah, you beat the tr- oh, I don't know. I've I've only been on the back of one for uh, approximately three miles, and I never went back. Never did it again. Although I've been to Sturgis Motorcycle mm-hmm. Rally, which is fantastic. All right, so speaking about the Packers, uh, Rogers said that for the fans to support the Packers while the defense is on the field, making beer cheap might be the answer. There you go. This guy, I like he, how Aaron Rodgers, he's really good about thinking about the people of Wisconsin who like hey, to drink. He went the cow. Yeah. He's a smart guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm up for anything that's going to get the fans as loud as possible, Rodgers said. He's great. Maybe, he's so great for the state of Wisconsin. Maybe slash some beer prices or something would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, hey, Aaron, how about this? Uh, oh, how, about, how about we slash some season ticket holders' throats? <laughs> And we let in some fresh young blood who actually wow. will uh, stand up and cheer for the team, huh? Yeah. How about that, Packers? They've, they're so they got the fans. worst. Uh, they got the best fans, but the worst fans who yeah, won't even cheer at the so goddamn entitled. game. I know. I'm actually going to two, I, I two games in Green Bay, but I cheer and I never boo, even when they're getting crushed by the Bears twenty to nothing last year. But uh, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Well, no it's tough tickets. to stand up and cheer when you're four hundred pounds. All right, go for a walk. <laughs> Yeah, no, those seats at Lambeau, they you're they're bleachers. Pretty, yeah, you're pretty crammed in. Jesus, you're pretty. There's not a lot of room to negotiate there. That's for sure. Don, Dan, is taking up uh, seats 47A <laughs> I know, through I know. 49A. I know. Hey, I go to the Hollywood Bowl a lot, and they have bleacher seats for the most part. The most of the state. And and if you're, you sometimes you'll be on your number, and someone will be halfway into your number. You're like, ah. Uh, Help me out a little bit. You, yeah, you don't. You're like looking. What are the uh, dimensions of the seat here? Right, that right. I should, what's where are the yeah. measurements are? Yeah. All right, Jim. Well, uh, <laughs> that's some Midwest cheapness. I'll tell you, yeah. nothing cheaper than a uh, white person from the Midwest, Gene. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. Cheap. Yeah. All right. There's a stereotype. There nothing. Nothing wrong Good with job. that. All right. Uh, we got some Andrew Luck news because I know everyone loves Poor this. Guy. Uh, injuries abound. That's too bad because he's such a. I really like him. I like him so much. I like the way he treats people and the way he talks, and he cares about his teammates. But he I plays don't too know. hard, Gene. He, he just plays too hard. But he had mysterious. Uh, this is another mysterious injury, right? I don't know. Well, Ballard, who I guess is uh, the GM, says it's a calf in- injury. I guess, so basically, the, the 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 summary of the fact is Andrew Luck is now playing in the preseason. That could change. He wasn't getting any better. In the course of dealing with it, he developed an ankle issue. Oh, my God. I guess he was compensating for the calf issue. Yeah. And then maybe that m- messed up his uh, ankle. The explosion area near the bone, it does not appear to be the issue. Focus has shifted elsewhere. Wow. Saw another expert, and there's and uh, there's a high ankle-like issue. The, the expert, Gene? Who? Dr. Vinny Boombats. Oh, um, uh, Man, yeah. that's 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 a deep that's a deep an, Letterman. Isn't cook. it amazing? Because they have the best doctors, and yet they can't. Uh, I, do they, they do? Can't figure do it they out gene either. though? Well, I don't know. You some think these they would. some of these uh, athletic trainers are quacks, you know. They don't know yeah. anything. You'd think they'd have the best doctor. <laughs> yeah, well, you got a hundred million dollars in the, you know in cleats. Oh, he might just be uh, injury prone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All I right. love. Yeah, he should go to. Uh, <laughs> He should go to Dr. Donald uh, from Tandoori. There you go. There's a uh, inside Sh- reference. Shout out. Yeah. Are we getting paid for that, Gene? Yeah. And then uh, uh, if not that, then Dr. Cheryl. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, Donald. All right. Well, Gene, we're going to shift over to the Lions. Okay. What's going on and with NFC the Lions? NFC North heavy. I couldn't like them. I, 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 
I don't like the Vikings, but I like them better than the Lions just because I don't like Matt Patricia. All right, in an upcoming special set to air on ESPN, Lions owner Martha Firestone Ford. Firestone Ford? Who the hell names themselves after a tire company? Fire, like, what, someone named her nickname, or her middle name, Firestorm? Right. Firestone? Right. Yeah. Says she hasn't yet had her best football memory mm. because that's going to come when she joins the commissioner on stage after the Lions win the Super Bowl. She's, her, Virginia McCaskey of the Bears is 95 or 6, and isn't. Uh, She's like board. 91 or something? Yeah. Isn't it amazing? You got two owners. There's two owners in the central do are both women gray, but they're both in their nineties. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my best memory hasn't come yet. I want to get the lamb Lombardi trophy. Ford said via the Detroit news. Uh, sh- sure, sweetie. Hmm. Sure, sweetie. And Hey, I, I want to fly. Really? I, I want a flying car. All right. So how all about right. you get your old ass back to the factory? Oh, all right. Get to work on that. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Huh? I don't think that's sweetie. The old lady. What? Granny? Nana? Nana? Hey, Nana. Mm. Nana, get your ass back in the R&D. In the R&D department. Huh? What's R&D? What, what are you doing running a team? What? what? I know. Well, L- listen, more. just because you could suck cock back in the 60s oh doesn't mean oh. you should be running an NFL oh, okay. football franchise. That's, you're very much across the line. And then because uh, the Saints owner is a woman. And then, <laughs> yeah, because because these guys die. Yeah, isn't the uh, yeah. Broncos owner? I mean, I mean, the last the last female owner who actually probably made her own money was March Shot, right? She uh, was a Nazi. <laughs> yeah, well, the Rams Jesus. owned Georgia Frontier when she sold the team. I think she did. I don't know. Anyway, good for the women. I'm all yeah. About so it. so Jean, she she thinks the Detroit Lions are going to win a uh, a Super Bowl anytime soon. I don't I don't see it. Gene, is this the surest sign of dementia? Wow. You know how they have partial signs? I, I yeah. think this is a 100% dementia. Well, they haven't won a title. Wow. Did they even win in the 50s, maybe? I don't what? know. I, don't think, I think they've won one playoff game in uh, 50 years well, They've never years been to the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, Gene, she seems like she's really focused on uh, winning the Super Bowl, huh? Yeah. Good luck. Hey, how about this? How about we start with clean water for Flint, Michigan, huh? <laughs> Wow. Can we do that first, Nana? <laughs> huh? Oh, my gosh. Michael Moore's grandkids need some fresh water, okay. goddamn. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you have a woman. My sister's a woman, and, and she said you, you have definitely crossed the line. <laughs> You're talking right. about uh, Mrs. Ford, a distinguished woman who owns Alliance, uh, given given. Uh, oh, jobs in the six. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Gene, you have to go back to the show. I can't remember. Okay, I don't. I'm, All right, I have to disassociate myself. All right, and then Gene, we're going to uh, finish with the uh, the reason why the Vikings suck. And this is interesting because Drew McGarry is a Vikings guy. So yes, yeah, so Drew McGarry does these uh, articles every uh, today, every year. Today, I think it was Seahawks suck. Yep, and he, he takes every team and requests letters from fans. Right. Uh, describing why their team sucks. And uh, <laughs> and uh, he, he people do you want to apologize to all women in, in, before you talk about no, it. It's a, it's, a, it's a caricature. Oh, it's a caricature. OK. That's my all defense. Right. You love. All right. So, yeah. All right. Uh, what are we saying here? Oh, yeah. yeah. So he does yeah. a uh, article for every single team, basically just publishes letters of uh Team fans, right? Uh, why their own team sucks, and Gene, you know why your team sucks uh, the most out of any uh, other, you okay. know, fan base, right? Right. right. Yeah. So uh, I don't mean specifically you, but uh, right. a team's uh, fan yeah. base. All right. But Gene, we're going to start off with some other uh, bad news from the Uh-oh. Vikings. It was ten years ago Sunday hmm. that Brett Favre unretired. And signed with the Vikings. It was ten years ago, Gene. Do you remember um, where you were ten years ago? Uh, let me see. Probably, probably getting ready for the Iowa season. Well, no, the Cubs. How good were they? Oh, they were bad. No, yeah, I think they were bad. Probably suffering to another Cubs season. Getting ready, for, looking forward to Iowa football. There you go. Yeah. But I remember when he came, he had a good year with the Vikings. Yeah, he? he was. He did. Yeah. He destroyed the Packers with a young uh, Aaron Rodgers. 
Oh. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Gene, ten year anniversary. Okay. Gene, what do you give a uh, ten year anniversary? What's what's the? Uh, I think is it the it's, paper it's anniversary. Silver paper. Rosé. How about paper. how about how about a diaper full of baby shit? Huh? <laughs> Can I give that to well, Brett? Why would you do? That? Oh my gosh. Okay. What do you want him right. to do though? He still had some good years left on him before. Well, he you could have went to any team, but he specifically went to the Vikings oh, so that yeah, he could beat okay, the Packers twice, twice a year. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're going to talk about the uh, Minnesota Vikings. Why this suck? Drew McGarry does this article every year, and uh, he is a Vikings fan. And I actually did not read his uh, description of because uh, he kind of does a preamble for the teams yeah, and all that right. stuff. But uh, uh, all right, so we're going to just go go through these letters. These are actual letters from actual right. uh, Vikings fans. Uh, Alex says, uh, I'm 100% certain the Browns will win a Super Bowl before the Vikings. <laughs> That's looking more and more likely. <laughs> Paul says, Kirk Cousins earned $5,235 per passing yard in 2018. That's an astonishing number. He made over five Gs for every passing yard. Mm. Every passing yard. Anthony uh, Matt says, Anthony Barr... Matt says Anthony Barr has the mobility of Steve Bannon. Political joke. All right. So Daniel says, uh, looking through a comment section for the Vikings. I'm sorry. Looking through a comment section for Vikings logo avatars is a great way to identify local white supremacists. So he's saying uh, <laughs> if you're on comments and you see someone with right, a Vikings, right. yeah. it's going to be a white supremacist. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Jake says, uh, my dad predicted the Gary Anderson miss and gloated in our sad faces when it came true. Told us to never trust those bums. Yeah, that's pretty sad, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine doing that to your kid? Like uh, their their team just loses a heartbreaking. By the way, I remember where I was for that yeah. kick. I was working at a uh, hospital in the uh, kitchen section, and uh, we were watching that game on the security cameras in the security little office or whatever. And uh, it was pretty crazy. They've had some tough. I wouldn't mind seeing them. I mean, if whoever, if the Packers can't win and then Bears can't win, why not go go Vikings, right? <laughs> sure. Or Cleveland, um, Cleveland too. Yeah, the Browns. Nate, Nate says my heart was broken since Antonio Freeman. Wow. I remember that game also. I was a freshman in college and I was in my friend's uh, dorm room watching that game, Monday Night Football. Where it was basically looked like a uh, the Vikings had broken up a pass, but like the ball was like sliding on his right. arm. Remember, he caught that, yeah, and ended up going yes, uh, to the touchdown. Yes, and yeah. uh, Al Michaels, he he did what? Yeah, that yeah that Monday night game. I remember yeah. that game too. Yeah, I remember that game. Sweet memory. Yeah. All right, Tyler says the the last likable players this team had were Teddy Two Gloves, One Knee, Bridgewater. Oh my god. That sucks. Teddy Two Gloves, one knee. Is he still Bridgewater. In the league? Yeah, he plays for the Saints, I think, right? Oh, did he? Doesn't he I still? Did, I don't know. Or did he go to another team? I'm not sure. And Chris, if you're mean to me, I'll write a blog post about you, uh Chloe. Right. Kill me now. The last two uh likable players. I you know, Teddy likable. I don't know about Chris Chris Chloe, but uh all right, David. David says this is a town that will still cross nine streets if they see a non white person on the horizon. Who doesn't have to happen to be the ghost of Kirby Puckett? Mm. It's true. It's true of all. I think the Midwest, though. Yeah. Uh, Ross, or, yeah, Ross. The yeah. last time the Vikings went to the Super Bowl, the original Star Wars film was not yet released. Wow. Wow. Elvis. Oh my gosh, that would have been before seventy-seven. Yes. Yeah, because seventy-seven was uh, Pittsburgh, or was that the year Oakland won finally? I think that's the year the Raiders finally won. Uh, yeah, because because the Pittsburgh won in 75, 76, 79, 78. I think 77 was the year Oakland finally won. won. All right. Yeah. El Elvis. All right, whatever. All right, Elvis, this is as good as your uh, fantasy drafts talk right here. L listen to you uh, <laughs> figure out who won the Super Bowls. All right. Elvis, Bing Crosby, and Charlie Chaplin were still alive the last wow. time they went to the Super Bowl. The last person to be executed by gu guillotine in France happened eight months after the Vikings made their last Super Bowl appearance. Well, that was still a thing back in the uh, 70s. Oh, my The gosh. guillotine? Yeah. Well, the guy in Utah, 
what was his name? He he was the last. He got he he went in front of a firing squad. I think that might have been it. Gary Gilmore, uh, maybe seventies or eighties. Remember that? No. They no. use a, a, a who's the last. Part? He requested a firing squad. Jesus. I yeah. Do they like. I don't know about the guillotine. Do they just I, ten I people fire at his head or something? Yeah, one person Jesus. gets a blank. I don't know something like that. All right. Um. I I have had sex. Okay, this is from Kelly. Okay. I have had Kelly. sex. From foreplay to orgasm, hmm. that took less time than it takes Kurt Cousins to release a pass. Wow. Hmm. Yikes. Yeekers. Uh, John says, uh, this year's Final Four was held in Minnesota at the Vikings Stadium and included our QB's alma mater. He was booed every time he was shown on the Jumbotron. Jumbotron. Yeah. I partook. John Portuk. So John's. I like how he admits that he uh, he booed his own quarterback. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. All right, Dan. Dan says, "I'm glad you survived your brain explosion back in December." Drew McGarry had an aneurysm or something like that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, last year. Yeah, sorry about that. He Jim. almost died. Yeah. Uh, Dan says, "I'm glad you survived your brain explosion back in December, because if I have to live with this bullshit team, then so do you." Right. Misery loves company. All right, Carly. Carly. Carly says, a great name. The Bears pos- got to be optimistic. The Bears possessed the ball for over 38 minutes. 38 minutes. Right. You remember that game? Yeah. I don't really. When, uh, last year? I yeah, guess so. I yeah, so. I guess that's what she's yeah. referring to. Mm. The, the, the Bears, Gene. I know. Not exactly the 84 Niners, I, you know? Right. That's right. Andy says, uh, honestly, I, I prefer the Metrodome. Nobody pretended it wasn't hideous, oh. and at least it had a smaller footprint. No. And didn't kill a bunch of birds either, right? Hey, you? they got that bird thing. Hopefully, they got that figured out. They got licked? What did I they don't do? know if they do. I don't know if they're doing anything. But that stadium's awesome. I want to go. I've never been, but mm, someday. All right. Andy says, my neighbor has an 88 Chevy conversion van with Deport Omar Ilion stenciled on the back. Okay. She's the congresswoman that uh, Trump hates, is t- talking shit about. She's from Minnesota. Did you know that, Jen? I did not. Who? Omar Ilion. Oh, okay. All that right. lady? Yeah. All right. Uh, John says, uh, Minnesotans, even the self-imagined cool and worldly people in Minneapolis, only want to hang out with the people they've known since elementary school. Minnesotans don't have the process and capacity to make new friendships after the age of 12. But mm. I think you say that about anyone, though, I think, for the most part. All right. Uh, okay, I'll hurry up here. Uh, Matt says, uh, this team is fully responsible for every single bit of baggage Minnesotans have about everything. Vikings PSD, uh, PTSD spills over into almost any other Minnesota sport. The Twins are having a great season. Can anyone actually enjoy it? No. Wow. All right. Uh, Brian says, my dad was a hardcore Oilers fan, and he was perplexed as to why I suddenly loved the Vikings. He would make comments here and there about how odd it was. Then one day we were watching football at Vikings game, probably Monday Night Football, and I was going crazy cheering the Vikings and waving my towel and all that. Suddenly my dad just burst out, why the fuck do you like the Vikings? You've never been to Minnesota. Cut this shit out. Mm. Neither of us said anything else for the rest of the night. It was around this time that my dad started to stay gone for long periods of time. Uh At first a weekend and then a week and then eventually he was gone for good. He never talked about where he was or why. All I had to do was relay, relay on my mom, rely on was my mom's bad mouthing him. I'm not saying the Vikings caused this, but they certainly didn't help. Fuck this team. Wow. Wow, that's rough. I, I, you, I, you can't be that harsh because when they do win the Super Bowl, and who knows, uh, yeah, you want to be there for him. Yeah. Well, he's a big Titans fan now, right? The, the, his dad. Yeah. All right. Sam says Bills fans were taunting us in our own damn stadium. My wife and I agreed to leave at the beginning of the fourth quarter because we could get a head start to picking up the kids and driving four hours back home. And at that point, I'd rather have watched the box of puppies get thrown off a cliff. <laughs> oh my god. All right. One more. And this is a long. Yeah. One. Yeah. One more. All right. Let's All right. Well, my fantasy draft has just started. All right. Oh. All right well, but I'm not. Go. No, I'm not. I'm not trapped him for a while. All right, so John says, uh, which which number are you, by the way? The last place? Uh, I'm 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 the fifth. I get the fifth pick. All so right. I'm I already lost the guy. The one guy I wanted was Christian McCaffrey. 
He's the mm-hmm. guy I was going to ride with. He'll break and his leg on the first game. No, he this was week. great. I had him last year, and he was great for me. And no Christian McCaffrey. Wah, wah. All right. Get Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Okay. I hate other Vikings. Okay, John says, a lot of Johns. I hate other Vikings fans. We're legitimately bad people. Earlier right. this year, the Vikings Instagram passed on the post. Passed on the post from Kirk Cousins celebrating the birth of his new baby. The Vikings social media manager had to lock the comments. Yikes. Wow. Plus, you'll never see more people bend over backwards to defend child abuse than whenever Adrian Peterson is brought up. Wouldn't you know, all of the adults who were hit by their parents in childhood have since eternalized that they, in reality, deserve those beatings as children, and it helped make them into the people they are today who right now are unable to regulate their feelings of anger and resort to calling you a snowflake cuck on the internet for saying it's bad. Fuck Adrian Peterson and wow. fuck all the people who try to marginalize the fact that this Greek god of a professional athlete, athlete beat his four-year-old with a tree branch so badly that his genitals bled and scarred. Oh, Adding to this, he never once demonstrated remorse. Even last year, he gave an interview saying that he still disciplines his kids by hitting them with belts and tree branches. Nope. He was the true victim in all of this. I already know the Vikings organization is going to bring him back for some halftime celebration, and he'll get a standing ovation as he's, he's inducted to the Hall, Ring of Honor or whatever. Wow. I actually don't I don't think they're going to do that. I think yeah. the Vikings don't want anything to do with Adrian And by Peterson. the way, I on my first round, I ended up taking Odell Beckham Jr., who I don't even like, and I don't even root so for. So you already him. took? Yeah. You, you didn't take, I'm like, a, why, did you, why didn't you take a quarterback? Uh, quarterbacks, from what I know, and I know very little, you're supposed to wait on them, but yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> what, so take Odell Beckham? The guy's going to yeah. break his ankle. Well, I like Baker Mayfield. That's I like him. Yeah, I should have taken Baker Mayfield and left Odell. There you go. Yeah, and, All right. uh, I want Christian McCaffrey, but he was gone. Oh, well. All right, so Gene, this has been a long show. Yeah, good I think job. we should uh, end it right there. A lot of content, as they yeah. say. Yeah, go Vikings, kind of. Yeah. Right? You support them if when you want. You'd rather see the Vikings win than the Patriots, no. right? No, hell no. Hell no. Really? I'll, I'll watch a million Patriots Super Bowls if uh, the Packers, I'm sorry, oh, the Vikings really don't win one. Nice. So, all right. So, for Gene Steichen. Have a great week, everybody. I'll my name my is uh, Chris Rolling Stones after this week. All right. It's okay. been the Midwest okay. Sports Show. Bye. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, my God.